Hi and welcome to the Boss Fireworks. So now we're going to do a safety firework video. The reason why I'm dropping this is because more and more people are going to be doing their own personal firework displays. I don't want anybody to get hurt. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So the first of all, know the firing pattern of your firework. This is a straight up cake. You will see either angles or the cake will be angled itself. It should have a viewing label. If it doesn't, then I suggest ask the, man, the person you've bought it off of. The reason why I say that is because you don't want to be firing over your audience. Uh -uh. It is absolutely dangerous. Second of all, look out for this little mark here, the CE mark. That is the law of any fireworks sold in the UK has to be CE marked. If not, do not buy. Make sure you're buying from a, a licensed seller who has an up-to-date license. If they don't, please walk out of the shop because it is dangerous. We are talking about explosives. When storing fireworks, do not store them in a heated or anywhere what is going to block your fire escape or a heated place where the firework could set off. Store in a cold, safe environment. So how I would be setting this firework off, right, there's two fuses. So one of them is your start fuse. So you go to light only one first. That will set it off. If it does malfunction, because fireworks sometimes do, leave it for 20 minutes. Do not return back to it at all because there could be a bit of smouldering down the paper and that could touch some of the fusing and set it off again and you do not want to be in the way of this so the safety zone for this firework is 15 meters make sure you have read all of your fireworks safety meters so when i'm going to set it off I would place this on a solid ground, on the grass, and these are what I call wooden stakes. So I would bash that into the ground, one at either side, making sure there's no obstructions of the firing. Gaffer tape it to it. I would then have a port fire. To light, if you're lighting by hand, always have a port fire, never go at a firework with a lighter. If you're buying a selection box, it does have a lighting stick in it. I get, I, I gather tape it to it, make sure that that does not wobble, because you do not want wobble in the fireworks. The reason, some fireworks say bury it. The reason why I do not bury fireworks is because if it blows up or it malfunctions, it's not sat in a hole, it's out. It's not contained. Gaffer tape keeps it contained. And that therefore will keep you and your audience safe. So let's get on to rockets. Now rockets are what we call uncontrollable flights. They can be safe. This is a dummy rocket. So when you've got a rocket, you will have a cap. You pull that cap down and make sure that the fuse is pulled down as far as it, as it would stretch. When it comes to the, uh, putting your tube into the ground, stab it into your ground, 
lean it back ever so slightly because you've got to remember this stick this wooden stick here does not bang at all so lower it lower it into your rocket tube and with your little independent little finger and your thumb make sure it's free to fly because some people drop it from there and it doesn't go anywhere and it will something like this powerful will cause devastation so just make sure it's free to roll light it at full arms length with a port fire return back to your safety zones i would try and stay away from as many rockets as you possibly can go with cakes better value for money the reason why some people like rockets because of the swoosh the bang I understand because obviously I like rockets and right when it comes to doing fountains I should have opened this one first <laughs> each firework has a green fuse it doesn't matter what firework you've got in the UK, we use green fusing. If it's a pink one, that is a reserve fuse. Sometimes it is hard to see. Sometimes they are green. It depends on the manufacturer. Right, within your selection boxes, as you see, I've straight away, I've opened that, and I've got the firework code leaflet by Shandar Fireworks, which is by black cat please take the time to read it if you have any so this so you've got little ones like this if you are concerned this is a shot tube this is a flat bedded shot tube what i would do is i would get some little bricks around it just like that and make sure it's upright on a sturdy base with your little fountains that you've got there is a top side to every fountain now as you see i've just opened that now there's a fuse what is bent down pull the fuse out there is a lighting stick within this box because every every rocket pack every um selection box has one of these they may not be the best that you'll ever see but this little piece of wood will save your life do not use lighters or matches you will touch the green fuse with the ember what is on the, the end of this retire back to your safety zones let the fountain fully finish before returning back to it if you are unsure if any firework is finished leave it for 20 minutes i've been the boss fireworks my beautiful partner on the camera i absolutely love her to pieces i and if any firework goes wrong i i say to my partner do not run away from the firework the safest thing you can do is to get as small as you can down on the floor the reason why is because you could run away from that firework and you could get to the point of explosion and that will hurt please 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 follow these safety uh, guidance it is against the law in the uk to hold any fireworks and with sparklers I advise strongly against them really strongly against them the reason why is because it burns at 2000 degrees that is not instant uh, first degree off second degree or third degree straight instant skin off because there's nothing is hot so I've been the boss fireworks my beautiful partner on the camera I hope you're all staying safe please stay safe this bonfire night Thank you.